Let's do a real life problem using corresponding angles. Let's understand the problem. We have three archers shooting arrows at a tree. This is arrow A by the first archer. This is arrow B by the second archer. And this is arrow C by the third archer. Arrows A and B are parallel to the ground and arrow C is cutting across arrows A and B. Also given in the question is, larger angle between arrow A and arrow C is 150 degrees. So this angle is 150 degrees. What we have to find in this question is, what is the angle at which the third archer launched arrow C? So we need to find the launching angle here. Before finding the launching angle, we need to understand what is the meaning of launching angle. If we consider this as our ground level and we extend arrow C in backward direction, then this angle which is formed between the extended line and the ground level is the launching angle. And this is what we have to find in this question. By solving this problem, we want to learn how to use the property of parallel lines in real life problems. It is given in the question that these two arrows are parallel to the ground. That means arrow A is parallel to the ground, arrow B is also parallel to the ground. That means arrow A and arrow B will be parallel to each other. Because we know when two lines are parallel to the same line, they are parallel to each other also. So for solving this question, we can take RS, TU and ground as parallel lines and this line here which is PQ extended as the transversal. Now let's look at the approach we should follow for finding this angle that means the launching angle. We can call this point here as point E and this point here as point F. So this launching angle here, which is angle XEF, will be equal to this angle which is YXU. Because these are corresponding angles, as we have already discussed that RS, TU and EF, which is the ground level, are parallel to each other. So angle XEF is equal to angle YXU by corresponding angle axiom. Similarly, we can see that this angle here will be equal to this angle as these two are also corresponding angles. So we can write angle YXU is equal to angle QYS once again by corresponding angle axiom. If we look here, then this angle, the one marked in green, and this angle, the one marked in red, form a linear pair. So what we are trying to say here is that angle QYR plus angle QYS is equal to 180 degrees because they form a linear pair. So this implies, in place of angle QYR, we can write 150 degrees plus angle QYS is equal to 180 degrees. This implies angle QYS is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees is equal to 30 degrees. So this angle we have obtained equal to 30 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees, then this is also 30 degrees. And the launching angle is also 30 degrees. And we have to find the launching angle in this question. Therefore, launching angle is equal to 30 degrees. Let's summarize what we have learned from this problem. We modeled a real life problem to parallel lines and transversal. 
We have applied the theorem that if two lines are parallel to one line, then they are parallel to each other also. And we have also learned the application of corresponding angle axiom.